Hello and happy March! This is one of my favorite times of year to have a bullet journal spread because I just love all of the greens that I always put in my spreads. I think for the last three years everything has been very greenery themed, but I just love, at least where I live, everything's starting to bloom and stuff and spring is finally starting to happen sometime during March. To translate all that green onto my spreads, I went with a vine theme for this month. I tried to keep it pretty minimal with the vines just on one side of the page and only two colors. This way the vines could be a little bit different, have many different types and designs on the vines without it just being color overload and theme overload on each page. I think I had four types of vines and I kept one color to one type of vine, if that makes sense. So two of the types of vines were one color and two were the other. I also made the planning space a little bigger this month on the calendar since I'm going to have a crazy busy month. Next up is my habit tracker and household chore list. It's pretty much the same as last month, although in February I did forget my gratitude log, so I did make sure to include that at the bottom of the right page this time, but I'm having a baby this month, so I also wanted to add a section that's like, cute thing with the baby, doesn't have a name yet, so, so I can't fill that in until where we finally have the baby. But it would be something that one could do if they were starting school or a spring break type thing or just a busy month that you want to make sure to document everything that's happened so you don't forget it later on. I kept the vines on each side to kind of frame in the spread and keep the color on both sides. Then everything looked a little bit naked in the middle so I decided to add some more color by just taking the lighter marker and adding lines next to the titles of each section just to give a little bit more color on the page and keep the eye moving and that green theme evenly across the page. The weekly spread is where things start to get a little different and a little intense. I started out with seven huge columns that are gonna be broken up in 30 minute increments. So each 30 minute period has one block to account for new things in my schedule. Specifically, I'm wanting to be able to track feeding and diapers for a newborn baby, but this is something you could definitely block out meetings or class times depending on your schedule and needs. I've used this type of spread a lot when I had a lot of appointments going on at work and really needed some time to block everything out and really plan things out to the minute. Here's a closer look at the categories that I'm doing that have to do with feeding diapers and sleeping times because my schedule is about to just fall to pieces. <laughs> this type of column could easily be broken up in class time, personal time, appointments, or anything like that to fit into anyone's specific schedule. To the right of that, I have the more traditional planner style that I typically have and it's about the same size as the ones from last month that when I had one week on each page, just so that I can jot down things that I need to get done, although I don't anticipate having a lot of things that I actually have to get done for the next month or so. To make it easier to see, I did green lines across the chart. It reminded me of that big printer paper in the 90s, if anybody remembers that. I also added the green on the regular weekly task list portion to kind of keep the theme of the spread before with the habits. And here's the final flip through. 